having, uh, having produced this now for two years in a row, and so you can compare last year's data set with this year's data set, um, I'd like to see more information uh, and expand, mm. expand the brief. Um, I would like to see, and I think a key element of smart power for this region would be the, uh, the region's ability to raise capital, for example. Mm. Uh, the way I look at the globe is that uh, Europe has capital raising capacity in London, North America through Wall Street, if this region, uh, the Asian Indian Pacific region, is truly to emerge as a, um, as a major global force, then there will need to be a capital raising capacity locally. Where is that going to occur? Is it Hong Kong? Is it Singapore? Is it Sydney? Is it, is it Shanghai? Or is it a collection of all four? So Singapore is obviously emerging as the private wealth capital of not just of Asia but of the world. So there's now more high net worth individuals in Asia than there are in the United States. And um, with its various tax laws, Singapore has sort of taken that private wealth mantle, but it's yet to take the uh, capital raising mantle. And this is where it's very disappointing to a lot of people that there wasn't the merger of the Singapore and Sydney stock exchanges because we do need to, uh, at a regional level, band together in order to be able to have that, have that heft.